So today guys, I'm going to talk to you about manifestation and the power of it because I've manifested quite a lot of things at the beginning of this year as a new year resolution because I really wanted something to happen for me. A lot of things to happen to me, maybe I should say. And I've manifested that. And I want to tell you what's happened and how I did it. So my name is Agnes and I'm a mummy of three living in the UK, married to an Indian man. I'm also a qualified accountant, transport manager, and at the moment I'm helping out my husband in his business. The reason I'm outside today, and I thought it's gonna be a better idea because indoors we have a building work going on and it is really, really loud. And I was going to actually do it as a sitting head video, but unfortunately the noises are just too much. So I was forced to go out and I'm really, <laughs> disappointed because there is a lot of noise on the street from the cars but at least my little toffee is taken for a walk because it happens to be very lovely weather although there is a lot of wind so you might hear a lot of wind blowing let me get to the park and once i'm there i'm going to talk to you about something really interesting i was just standing above this tree and look what's happened so that's a good luck right Right, I've stopped now because I cannot walk anymore because there is so much wind blowing. I'm just trying to stand here and hopefully that will work. But, so what I was going to talk to you about is the power of manifestation. At the beginning of this year, as a new year resolution, I have given in to idea of writing things down on a piece of paper to manifest the things that I want in my life. And how it works is that you attract the things that you want but only if you actually write it as if it's already there for you so you're not writing things like i hope or i wish or i want or this is going to happen instead you're writing things like this is what i have at the moment like it's happening in a present moment don't know whether you guys heard much about the vibrations we as a human beings are vibrating so the scientists are starting to recognize that people are a vibrating human beings which have a lot of energy and if you vibrate in a positive way if you vibrate a good energy the good energy will be with you and kind of sent off to the universe and things will happen for you i can't really 100 percent explain it i know what it means but it's really hard for me to kind of explain it to you guys i will link very good videos down the bottom which i've watched over the years that really had made an impact on me and really kind of got me to the point where i wanted to write it down and manifest it for myself and because it worked for me so well i want to share it with you guys when i get home i will show you the list of things that i've manifested for myself 90 percent of the things has already happened i've written timeline for it two to three years but it's happened within the first half a year really so guys i've just came back from the walk and i decided to actually do a little bit of video but you may hear a background noise because it is really noisy in the house and you can hear occasional drilling anyway let's get to the point so i want to show you my what i call the vision board which isn't really a vision board it's just a tool that I wanted to use to manifest what I wanted to happen within two to three year timeline. The way I've written it down is to as if it's happening at the moment. So I didn't say I wish for something or I don't know, something's going to happen. But what I've written is boss ladies. My main goal is to be my own boss. I wanted to be a boss lady. I really liked the idea of it. The thing is that when I was very young, from very young age, I always wanted to get a job where I'm going to be in the office, I'm going to be working with papers. I used to love filling in invoices and things like that that my dad had in the house. And I really always wanted to kind of get a job where I'm sitting in the office. Then when I was already in university studying my accounts and I really wanted to qualify as an accountant and get that dream job, I got my dream job. And maybe through my kind of conscious mind of knowing that when you're working for somebody else, you can never get to where you can get if you are your own boss. There is a possibility of scaling up, you're saving yourself on tax. There is just so many things you can utilize and also you end up paying tax at the end as opposed to paying tax at front. Let's not cheat, it's, it is about money, right? It is about achieving what you can do the best, doing what you love doing and getting the best pay really for it. So this is why I wanted to 
work on for myself being boss lady so what i've written down here as you can see is work for myself on youtube help husband in business cpc pass the pass i've written once i've passed it but i said plus cpc so this is my transport manager license which i did now i've written that in january 2020 i put that down later because i wanted to know reference point as to when did i write this down and also the time timeline that i've had for it pretty much all of the things from my vision board has happened and this is because i have manifested it the next thing you can see is quit my full-time job and it's not like i've written quit my full-time job and i just quit it because i've written out in january in january i was still at my old job i really wanted to find a new job so that job i was hoping would work out for me what actually have happened is i've realized that the job that i'm doing isn't what i wanted to be doing and i wasn't happy doing it so I ended up quitting it call this a power of manifestation because if i've manifested quitting my full-time job and it has happened for me six months down the line you tell me there is no power in manifestation you tell me that this does not work it did work for me try it try it whether that's with personal life whether that's your health wise maybe you want to manifest a better health for yourself maybe you want to manifest more money maybe you want to manifest a better house affiliate marketing and sponsorship this was related to work for myself on youtube so obviously through affiliate marketing and sponsorship i would be getting paid you might have noticed that i've lately had some brand deals and some sponsorships and things like that again is the power of manifestation or is it because i'm doing something that brings the opportunities to me i'm manifesting it but i'm actually doing something and i'm actioning things that i want to happen for me yes there is to extent when you manifest it you don't really have to do much to get to it but the energy that you manifest with it will make you work for it because you're creating this positive attitude you created this positive energy and vibrations that will make you want to work for it would make you want to make steps to make sure you will get where you manifest to get the next thing i've written is spend time with each child individually do puzzles lego draw and read because of my work commitment that i've had at the beginning of january which was my full-time job i was doing youtube helping out my husband i was studying for cpc to become transport manager i've had so little time to spend with the children that they kept on telling me mommy the only thing you do is work and they really kind of strike me because they were right I was really not spending much time with them and it saddened me when my daughter actually said that to me and she's 12 years old she understands she knows i have to work and she knows this is what adults do they work but when she said it it kind of really hurt me that this is how she sees it and this is why when i quit my job i knew i'm doing the best thing that i can do for my family now i have time to spend time with them and actually play read the book spend time hug them sit down with my husband and my children to watch some movie and you know have this family time that is so important go out on the weekends with them and i wouldn't have had time if i had been working if i had been where i was at the beginning of the year the next point is enhance friends circle i have very few friends that i can literally count on one hand that i can rely on and it's not like i don't think they are good friends is that i wanted to enhance the cir circle of friends i read somewhere in a book good vibes good life where the book talks about when you surround yourself with the positive people when you surround yourself with successful people this transmits the energy to you and i want to meet more people like that because i do think that when you have people that are successful that achieve a lot of things in their life that are positive that brings this shine and light in you it enlightens you having more time now when i'm around the school and also the time that i don't have to spend working i have met few people that i was able to form friendships with or you know maybe it's a little bit too far-fetched because to have a friend it does take time to kind of build up the relationship but i have met few people which i think potentially will be become my best friends and this is only because i have availability of time because when i was working all the time how do you make friends i mean i'm not calling facebook friends my friends i've got lots of people on facebook they're not really my friends but i want the friends who who i can call 24 7 and who will be there for me and the people that i've met so far that I've met after I was able to quit my job and have that time for myself are those people that I potentially believe would have been there for me through thick and thin. 
open your own business now this i've written down um recently and i haven't yet managed to do that so the thing with the online business it could be that what i'm doing on youtube will eventually develop into an online business because if i'm making enough money from it to sustain myself you call it a business right so maybe it isn't yet the case but i know i will have my online business i have my online business because what i'm doing on youtube is my work this is my creative outlet this is my creative space and i am manifesting right now that i have my online business where my customers my viewers are happy with the value that i provide to them that it brings me enough money that i can feed my children that i can sustain my living there you go i've manifested it it will happen the next point that i've written on my vision board is get back into fitness mode this has happened 100 percent. i don't know whether you guys remember i've mentioned you may not have seen my previous videos but i have talked about my injuries i've injured my arm i have prolonged knee injury and this have on and off put me off the working routine so i really wanted to get back into shape so i've written get back into fitness mode i did get back into fitness mode i am exercising i'm going to the gym i'm staying fit and healthy now wake up early or earlier 6 a.m go to work on youtube channel i must say this is one of the things that haven't yet happened to me i do wake up seven sometimes a little bit early if i know that i have to do something but i do go sleep quite late and i need to work on going to sleep earlier so i can wake up earlier because if i go sleep 11 12 o'clock waking up at six o'clock seems not feasible for me i am one of those people and i know some people argue that point that i need eight hours of sleep if i don't sleep eight hours i can survive on seven and i can even survive on six on odd occasions when you have to you have to right but i do tend to get headaches i'm not feeling as productive i'm not feeling as energized so and i'll be yawning the whole day long so it's just like i know i need my eight hours beauty sleep and it is important to get enough sleep and recognize how much sleep you need because there are people that need less sleep. Like my mom, for example, she is now in her 50s and she does claim that sometimes after four hours she feels rejuvenated and that's enough for her to have an energy for the whole day. And it is the case with older people. I think that the older you get, the less sleep you need. Read one book a month about personal development books and mindset shift. That is happening to the point. I am not reading one book a month. I have started a book about three months ago i finished that book and i'm now on the second book so maybe once every quarter i should say i do tend to prioritize over other things over the point of reading the books and maybe i should invest into audiobooks but at this point in time i haven't yet looked into it but i know the audiobooks are really good for those that don't really have time to do things maybe when i'm doing my workout i can do that however i do do classes which means that i have to listen to the instructor so it is really hard to find that time i don't drive a lot i don't go travel on the buses and things like that so i don't really have the time where i just sit down and kind of want to kill the time the next one is be more organized and this is when it comes to dinner planning i have definitely upped my game when it comes to this i do try to do shopping intentionally so i don't just go and pick up things off the shelf and the legs they get to waste i do plan the meals i try to plan at least for two three days and if i have at least two three days of menus planned out it is easier for me because i do love cooking but i don't like cooking when i don't know what i'm going to be cooking i don't like the situation where it comes to the dinner time and i'm like what should i cook today and it comes to 5 30 and quite often my husband will be like okay so what are we eating today and i'm like mm, i haven't yet actually thought about cooking dinner so we ended up taking takeaway it's not happening very often but I think lately it's been happening more to what it's been happening ever before. When I do plan my meals, I do feel like we're eating healthier and we're eating, you know, I'm shopping more intentionally because of which we have less waste. Wake up and appreciate what you have. Sacrifice today for better future tomorrow. Now, these are obviously not manifestation, but I put them out here because these are the two things that I really thought at the point when I was writing this that I wanted to do. Every day when I wake up, I try to think that I'm grateful to waking up every day i have a friend at the moment who is struggling with her health and it is really hard to talk about because i can't even understand what you feel when you know that you haven't got much time left but i can only appreciate that i wake up every single day it is a gift guys you should feel privileged you should feel happy that you have woken up you've got another day to live but you're one day closer to the day you die so don't take this for granted 
appreciate every single day that you have. Spend it wisely and do things intentionally. Don't waste time away. Don't wish the time to pass by. Appreciate every single day. And the sacrifice today for better future tomorrow. If you don't work for things that you want to happen for you, you know, it won't pretty much happen. So it's good to write things down and manifest them. But if you don't actually work for things that you want happened in your life, it's not going to happen. If you want to win a million pounds, and I am not saying play lottery because I don't think it's a very wise thing to do. Not like I've never played, but I don't think playing lottery will get you rich. I say, if you don't play lottery, you will never win it. If you don't work on your online business, you will never have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can manifest anything in your life. The only way to do it is by stating what you're having as if you already had it. All right. Don't say it. I want, I hope, I wish, I have. I have now. I have now big house. I have now wonderful partner. I have now wonderful family. Through power of manifestation, the law of attraction and belief. If you think it, if you feel it, it will be it. I hope to see you soon. And thank you so much for watching and for being here with me. Because I have manifested you guys watching this video. Stay tuned. Bye. So this is going back now into where it belongs to. You can see there is a mark at the back because that's how it's stuck here. It's in my desk and I always know it's there and I look at it every single day because this is how you're manifesting by looking at what you manifest every single day because if you think it, if you feel it, it will be it.